This is the Object 261. This is a Russian Tier 10 SPG. Uh, the map is Steps. Uh, I'm working on getting my gun marks. I'm at 61.6% or something like that. Uh, I'm going to have it in like two or three more games as long as I don't have a city map. And I'm going to be doing the gun marks first for all of my SPGs. And then, and then I'm going to do tank destroyers. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's out of the game. Poor Udis. Uh, so after I do tank destroyers, I'll probably do light tanks. And then maybe I'll do heavy tanks. I really like playing super heavy tanks. So I'll do the super heavy tanks. And then I'll probably do the medium tanks last. You know, that was holy. Wow, I am so awesome. That wasn't a wise idea because he wasn't spotted and I have a low number of rounds. That was two one shots back to back. Man, I must I I could easily have like two thousand damage right now. This could be so cool. Just in case they cap, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-aim for the cap. So if it starts to say they're capping, just fire right away and fire on the southern edge of the cap where they're most likely to be. I have a game where I do it. Uh, it was on Ruinberg. That would be so funny if I one-shot at him. I had a game where I was on Ruinberg. And as soon as the cap alarm went off, I fired. And I did reset him, but I didn't aim well enough because I didn't account for the the time for the shot to go in. Uh, so I just reset him for like one cap point. Didn't do any damage. You know, you probably don't have to aim in that far with this vehicle uh, because uh, because of the way um, this particular vehicle is quite accurate. They're usually not back over here. They're usually in this area, like where the circle is. But I also don't want to duplicate, and there are three of us. You know, whoever gets that shot in first gets the uh, decap points, so. You want to, f your goal is within this circle. And when I was aiming in that SPG, it was within this circle. Uh, I, I didn't have, I could have like aimed in this far if I wanted to, and maybe I would have damaged him it looks like the e100 was reset so i'm going for the 50 tp uh but i believe someone else is going to get the the uh cap reset score six to one we got to keep doing this because my allies are too far away But you know what? We got three SPGs. These guys are never going to cap. Going to go for the one in the middle uh, so that if I miss, it might hit the one behind him. And look at that. I got four cap <laughs> reduction. Uh, there was a cap reduction mission. This isn't it. He's not going to come out. Come on. Nah, I didn't get him. Nah, man. Okay, let's work on resetting cap. So my team is finally making an approach. 30 seconds, they could fail. But with three SPGs, we won't. I didn't get a reset. Okay, the SPG got the reset. Gonna go for the grill.
He moved back, which screws up my aim. I only did 83 damage. They could easily win. They've got uh, two heavy tanks, and uh, they could easily pull in a win if they finish off my allies over here. Now, again, I'm working on gun marks, so I got to go for the weak armored tank, which is the grill. Got 332 damage. This could be a high damage game for me. I'm not going to hit that bat chat. You want to rely, trust the mini map. Trust the mini map. If the bat chat looks like he's beyond the hill, he's beyond the hill. Using the premium rounds can definitely make a difference. I got to save a little cash. Man, I am so hungry. Oh, I got cantadina, diced tomatoes. They're not so bad. I'm going to put them in the toaster oven. This is what they do in the Philippines. They do the eyebrow thing all the time. You like tomatoes? They go like that when they mean yes. 2,400 damage. Okay, who did I kill? I guess it was a charioteer. 390 damage and the Udus. 108 damage. Twenty four hundred damage. Mark of excellence sixty one point eight five. Did it go up? I guess it didn't go up. Went up like 0.2 or 0.4. Okay, that's the game.